Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is Gamera before True Blood Season 7, Episode 4, Death is Not the End. And this episode um, was really a, a fantastic episode. I love this episode. I thought this was probably the best episode of the season. I thought it was definitely a very, very well done episode. And one of the things I really liked about this episode was it was like a mixed emotions kind of episode. You know, some points it was really sad. Other points it was really funny. Other points, it actually had some creepy moments in this episode. Like, this episode toyed with my emotions, really. And if when a show can toy with your emotions, you know they're doing their job. And honestly, I feel like this episode was, like, so much better. And I kind of like True Blood more than The Leftovers now. And I honestly, I think this episode was better than Witches of East End this week, personally. I love Witches of East End, but I think this episode was actually better than Witches of East End. And maybe better than The Leftovers as well. I didn't review The Leftovers yet, but um, that's going up. But I think it, this show might be a little bit better than The Leftovers, personally. I, I, I must say that. I think it is. Um, but basically... The beginning, now, there wasn't a, like, a whole bunch of separate plots because everything really was just everyone's reaction to Alcide dying. Um, basically, we see Alcide's father, Jackson, with Jenny, and he gets a phone call from Sookie, and very heartbreaking moment, because Jackson asks Sookie, you know, what's wrong and everything, and we know what Sookie's about to tell him, and she tells him Alcide is gone, and right away, it's very sad because we already know what she's going to tell him, and it was very sad to see everyone's, like, reaction to this. One of the things I loved is they actually, you know, sent his, did his death really well. Like, the whole episode was basically revolving around his death. Um, and Jason then calls Hoyt and tells him his mother passed away, because um, as we know, you know, there were not just Alcide died in that attack. Um, Hoyt breaks down tears, and Jason tells him she was killed by a vampire. And this is even sadder than Alcide, personally. I was, I thought this was really sad. Jason gives him his condolences. Hoyt tells Jason that his mother said she would die if he left. And Sookie asks Jackson when he can get there by, and she warns Jackson not to come by night. And Jackson tells Sookie that when he spoke to Alcide, he never heard him happier. And he tells Sookie that Alcide, that Alcide, um, loved her. Um, and she, you know, we know that she knows that. We know that she knows that. But, you know, the question is, does, did she really love him? You know, she didn't really love him that much. Um, but Jason then tells Hoyt that when he gets to town to call him and some will pick him up, um, that when he gets to town, um, he will call him and so uh, he wants him to call him and someone will pick him up. And Jason is talking about how formal Hoyt was to him on the phone. And Sookie tells him to pull himself together because he is the law, and she tells Jason to man up, and Sam comes in to ask if they are ready, and, um, that was really sad, and it took a little while to get to the intro, it was like a four minutes till he got to the intro, I was like, okay... <laughs> And then we get to the really funny part of the episode. Pam and Eric were hilarious in this episode, personally. I thought they were very, very funny. Uh, Pam and Eric are on a plane, and then and they were headed to Bat and Ro um, Rogue, and Eric finds out he tells Pam that they are changing direction and going to Shreveport to get Willow, and Eric wants to see Willow, his uh, progeny, one more time before he dies. Because, as we know, he's dying, and... Pam tells Eric she hates Shreveport, Shree, uh, Shreveport, I mean, but Eric tells him, but, um, Eric tells, um, her to, it's a trip down memory lane, and, uh, then we see a flashback, and they, basically, in this flash, I like this flashback, I like that we're getting flashbacks in this, um, show, I don't know if we're gonna end up getting flashbacks every week, but ever since, like, episode th two, um, we've been getting flashbacks, a lot of flashbacks, actually. Eric and Pam get off the plane, and the Majesty of the Authority meets them with their sentence, and he tells Eric and Pam they are to run a small business in Shreveport, and Eric tells him he would rather have a stake in his heart, and it's a very funny scene, because they're in a video store, and they are headed downstairs, and the video store has adult videos in the basement, and of course, the Authority rep tells Eric he is the sheriff of Area 5, and when he runs this place, he must um, give a large kickback to the Authority, he also warns Eric and Pam that they're being watched, and he gives them the keys, and then he leaves. Um, so that was interesting. Now, Jason, Sookie, and Sam, they stop by Lisa's place, and Sookie wants to see how she is holding up, and Sookie calls Kobe over to sit with Lisa, and she tells them she knows what, um, she knows what they, what, um, she knows they know what is going on is scary, and Sookie assures them that their mother, Arlene, um, is tough, and they know she's fighting as hard as she can to come back to them, and Sookie promises them they are going to get their mother, Arlene, back, and 
Then Jason, Sam, and Sookie try to convince Annie to let them see Holly, and Sookie wants to try to help Holly remember where Arlene is, and Sookie t try talks to Holly and tries to get her to basically try to recount what she remembers, and this is actually a very creepy scene because she claims everything is gone, she's so frightened to remember what happened, and she starts seeing these horrific images. I mean, that was really creepy, and I was not expecting that. I thought that was actually a very creepy moment, and I actually really like that about this because uh, the show is not usually creepy, and uh, that was actually pretty creepy in my opinion because she's seeing all these horrific images of vampires feeding off her, and she finally remembers she was at Fantasia in the dungeon, in the dungeon, which we we know that was true. And Holly starts to cry, and Sookie tells her she did really really good, and Sookie gets up and lets everyone know she's going to Bill's house to formulate a plan. Um, by the way, how the hell did she get out of Fantasia? We didn't see that in the episode. We didn't. Um, I, I just want to know how she got out, but it was it was actually very creepy to see that, and I actually liked that about this episode, that there were scenes that were kind of creepy. So Sam and Jason are driving. Sam turns the car around, and he wants to go to Fantasia right now. And Jason takes out a gun, puts it to his head, and tells Sam he has to turn around because they can't help anyone without the vampires. They have to wait till the sun goes down, and Sam stops the car and gets pissed off. Now over with Jessica, she is in bed with James, and she's in pain. And, um, that is because Jessica tells, um, James tells Jessica she has to eat. But she's not healing because she's not eating. And James threatens to go get Bill, so Bill will make her eat. And Bill comes back and asks Jessica how long it has been going on. And James says, ten weeks. So she's not eaten in ten weeks. And that's obviously not a good thing. Um, think about it. Don't eat, not eating for ten weeks. It's not a good thing. So Bill realizes that Jessica is protecting Adeline, Andy's daughter, but refuses to feed off her because she killed her sisters. Um, and Bill tells her it has to stop. And Sookie comes upstairs and offers to feed Jessica, and Jessica refuses, and Sookie tells her she does not care why she is not feeding. She needs her help, and she, does be and she better feed because Sookie is lost too many people, and does not want to lose more, and Jessica finally agrees to feed, but not on Sookie, and honestly, Sookie in this episode, you, I really felt bad for her, I really did, I mean, Sookie has lost a lot of people in her life, and now she's lost Alcide, and you can see that's really affected her, and I really like Sookie's, um, input on everyone this episode, I mean, it was definitely really cool to see that, um, now, back at that flashback, we go back to Eric and Pam's flashback. One over at the video store, a girl comes in and speaks to Pam about a video, and the girl tells Pam she, is a, she of course, does not believe in vampires because they're not real. And then walks in Eric, and the girl looks at him and almost passes out. Now, she is fascinated by him, and the girl asks Pam if Eric and her are together, and Pam tells her no. The girl asks they are hiring, and she requests an application. So, that was actually uh, another funny scene. So, Sam and Jason walk up to Rosie and Kevin's house, they knock at the door, and Rosie asks if she is under arrest, and Jason asks if they can come in, and they want to speak to her about Kevin. Um, now, I don't know who this Kevin character is. Um, it's not me, I know that. Um, is, is it Kevin Garvey from The Leftovers? I really don't know. Um, but there's apparently a character named Kevin. So Jason tells Rosie that Kevin is gone, and she wants to see his body, but they do not have it, and she sobs. And Rosie makes them promise that they're going to get the people that killed Kevin. Bill tells Sookie he will get as many vampires as he can to come, but he cannot guarantee many will come because there is not um there is nothing in it for him. And Sookie asks why he is coming, and he says because I owe you everything, Sookie. And Sookie offers to feed him to feed on her because she wants him strong. And honestly, I think this is setting up the possibility that possibly that Bill and Sookie are going to get back together because I saw a lot of chemistry from them this episode. And you can see that Bill really does still care about her. And Sookie, of course, really cares about him. She's still in love with Bill. We saw that last week. So I'm pretty sure they're going to get the two of them back together, at least by the end of the show. So Lafayette comes in to see Jessica and James. And Jessica is crying because James wants her to eat. And honestly, I didn't care that Lafayette was in this episode. I thought his plot was actually, you know, he didn't have his own separate plot, so I was fine with that. Lafayette tells him to stop his side because he wants, to, he wants a chance with her, and Lafayette tells her she has to eat, and after much talking, he actually convinces her, and then comes out the feigns, and she feeds on his arm, and her injuries start to heal. 
So then, meanwhile, over at the video store, the gold ginger who hired shows up with a chair, and ginger suggests um, to Pam that they remodel the video store and build a bar. There'll be a platform, the chair will be a throne, and ginger wants Eric on the throne because ginger thinks Eric is sex on a throne, and ginger suggests they call the new bar Fantasia, and Pam tells ginger that the name of the bar is perfect. So yes, this is how Fantasia was formed. I thought that was definitely very interesting. I was kind of like, why are we seeing this um this video store? But now it makes sense because we found out that that's how Fantasia was made. So next we see Pam and Eric in the plane and then realize that the scenes of pair Eric and Pam in the video store were actually a flashback. And Pam is admitting to Eric that she stole the idea of Fantasia from Ginger. And Pam asks Eric if he still loved her. And Bill's then having a meeting with Jason, Sookie, Sam, and other people who are going to help him get Arlene and the people kidnapped back. Someone then knocks on the door, and it's Erica and Pam. Now, Sookie runs and hugs Eric and realizes that he is infected. So, this was actually a very good scene. Um, Eric and, you know, Bill reunite. And um, Pam tells Eric that they are there for Willow. Eric asks to speak to Sookie alone, and Sookie tells Eric he cannot die on her. And Eric asks Sookie how she is. She says she's sh shitty, and she tells Eric that Elsie died that morning. Eric embraces her and tells her he's sorry. Sookie asks Eric where he was. He tells her he decided to see the world one last time, and Eric asks Sookie what type of trouble she's in. Now, meanwhile, everyone is getting ready to go and storm Fantasia. Willow shows up and wants to see Eric. Eric tells Willow they need to help Sookie. Eric comes out and tells Bill that although they are outnumbered, there's another way in Pam. Um, there's another way. Um, Pam replies, we're going, and she's like a fucking fungus. They, that won't go away. So, Sam's a rat and crawls into the dungeons where Arlene and everyone is being held. He shifts into Sam and tells them that they are coming to help them, and Sam then leaves. And then the episode just gets crazy. A lot of crazy shit's going on after this. Because outside the building, Eric is punching the cement. He is not strong enough, so Bill does want, does it. Wall comes down. Sam comes out of the wall and tells him that their people are alive. Eric wants to go, but Pam thinks he is too weak, and she tells Eric she is going. Bill and Pam come in, and they see Sam's girlfriend, the other girl being held, but Arlene is gone, and the infected vampires took Arlene to feed on. And while Pam takes them out to the others, Bill goes upstairs to see if he um, can help Arlene, and while he is walking upstairs, he hears Eric's voice. Eric tells the infected vampires that he is infected and needs sanctuary, and he has his own human. And they smell Sookie and let Eric in. And as Eric is talking to them, he tells them he brought some friends. And just when they were coming to help the townspeople break in and start throwing fire in, Sookie screams and looks for Arlene. She realizes that Arlene is actually close to death and tries to find a healthy vampire to feed so she does not die. Now, I thought Arlene was actually going to die, but they didn't kill her off. Um, and there's so much confusion with the townspeople outside, killing every vampire in sight, and it's difficult to get a healthy vampire to help. And the very end of the episode, Arlene starts to fade. She sees Terry and starts to go towards him, towards the light. And finally, in the nick of time, Sookie finds Keith, who is a healthy vampire. Um, Keith saves Arlene. Sookie embraces Arlene. And as she does, Eric walks in and looks at her and smiles and then turns around and leaves. And, and uh, that was the end of the episode. And wow, this was a fantastic episode. As I said, this episode toyed with my emotions. I mean... There are some parts that are very sad to watch. Um, then you have the stuff at the video store, which was actually very funny. Up until we found out that that was how they created Fantasia. Um, that's something going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, pretty much Eric and Pam are responsible for creating Fantasia. Um, even though um, it was the girl, Ginger, that kind of stole the idea from her. Um, so, I have a couple questions now. What's going to happen with Arlene next? Um, we're going to see what happens there. Are Bill and Sookie going to get back together? I am pretty sure that that is going to happen this season, that they're going to get back together. Um, we're going to see what happens with, um, you know, we're going to see what happens with uh, Sam and Jason. You know, um, as we know, Sam ran away, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, now, as far as Eric and Pam go, what's going to happen with him and Willow? You know, we know that Eric wanted to see Willow before he left, so we'll have to see what happens with her. Um, now, Eric and Pam created Fantasia. Do you think that something bad is going to happen with them because they created Fantasia? Are we going to meet Ginger in the current times? We'll have to see. But that's it my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for the pilot for The Strain. So, I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.